I'm Dr. James Frederick, and I am the president and CEO of Native Traits Corporation. Native Traits is a company that specializes in identifying naturally occurring genetic traits uh, in corn. Basically, amongst all the wildflowers that are growing here, we set up research plots where we can grow strains of corn that we've gotten from the USDA. It allows us to measure the performance of an individual plant, uh, see if it has a particular trait of interest like drought tolerance or cold tolerance, and then identify eventually the genes and develop molecular markers for those genes. The good thing is that we can do all the genetic uh, transfer by just natural corn breeding techniques. The Native American was the original plant breeder and we can use much the same techniques that they would have used to do the genetic transfer. There's no genetic engineering involved whatsoever. For farmers in Michigan and throughout the country, if not the world, the issue is to be sustainable, not just environmentally, but also economically. And one of the big hazards for farming is environmental stresses like drought or heat or cold. Here in Michigan, we're in an excellent place to screen for all of those things. We have drought, not here lately. We have cold every spring. Uh, and of course, heat <laughs> is what we see today. So these things we can screen here in Michigan very, very well. Native Traits was formed three years ago by another individual, Dr. John McIntyre and myself. And we were very fortunate to have the benefit of support from the uh, Biosciences Research and Commercialization Center, supported by the MEDC. So all this is made for a very good environment for us to be in as far as a technology startup. We have the right climate, we have the right business culture, and we have the support of the MEDC and the BRCC. It's a great place to live. There's no greater place than Southwest Michigan. Michigan uh, is a great environment for a startup company because we have a, a whole array of different organizations that support us. All these things, it's kind of like a Silicon Valley for Michigan in that all these things kind of have to come together. It's not just having money. You have to have a kind of a culture that really supports uh, startups.